Hi, everybody. I'm Brittany. Um, I'm from Thessalon First Nation. I currently live in Sault Ste. Marie. Um, and today we're going to be doing beading and we're going to do a beaded bear paw to start with. Are you guys frozen? Oh, nope. Grosham was for me for a minute too. It's okay. Me too. I didn't know if okay. I didn't no, know. If Okay. Just everybody's far away and in transit, and probably everyone's on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, I'm, and I'm like, I hope I didn't cut her off. No, 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 no you're okay. good. Okay. It's cool you're doing a bear paw, Brittany, because I'm bear clan. What clan are you? Um, I'm actually eagle clan. <clears throat> but um, I don't know. I just I like bear paw. Mm. I think a bear is supposed to be your helper when we got your names because they tried to put you bear clan. Yeah. And then they're yeah. like, okay, well then a bear will be your, your helper. And the only reason why I just knew that is because I know you're supposed to go by, by um, your father. Hold on one second. I yeah, and he, he wants to go outside right now. So I'm just trying to tell him like, you know, just wait a little bit and we will. I'm gonna have a barbecue today too, so. It's so nice out. It's a little bit windy, but. Yeah, it's it's nice to be out there with everybody. So when I'm, I'm just, just so down the, the design and now I'm just starting on the bigger piece. I don't know, I like to start off with the bigger piece, then go to the little ones because then it just, I don't know, it make me, uh, makes me want to finish the whole thing once the big piece is done. Mm -hmm. Instead of stopping later and then looking at it and be like, oh, all that to still bead. So for me, I always start with the big piece because then you only have a little bit to bead after. Mm. That's a good tip. <laughs> you, like to, you, you like to get the hard part over with. <laughs> yeah. But then after, like, when you, like, Say you go to like go to bed or you have to stop to cook supper and then you look at it later and you're like oh I still have all that to eat but if you do the big part you're like oh I only have a little bit to go so might as well <laughs> <laughs> it's a good tactic yeah that's actually the stage that I'm at I'm only at the beginning stage <laughs> I yeah. feel like I've been like <clears throat> so slow with it <laughs> compared to I was on this beating circle call last week um, that yeah. my friend Adora Nawagizik organized and uh, um, she was it was like there was this one lady and she finished a whole earring in a two-hour session and I was like we were all like oh <laughs> you're amazing <laughs> yeah see I, and like I, I do that to myself too all the time I always tell myself oh yeah I can have this beaded by this time but then I'm like okay hey, never mind because it actually takes like a little bit. But that's, yeah, that's pretty cool of her to be able to finish that. I was gonna do earrings, but then I, I don't know, I felt like it might've been a little bit too hard. I didn't want to give somebody, some, like if somebody started new, I didn't want to just give them these earrings yeah, yeah. to do and then be stuck with them. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense too um, for like beginners to start with something yeah yeah and we, we are targeting youth with this too so um, but there's a lot of youth that have been beating like more longer than me yeah <laughs> i'm i'm an old youth i feel like <laughs> and like they kind of blow me away with their work <clears throat> yeah it's, it's nice to see too this will only be my third beating project ever <laughs> oh really nice I haven't people... ever beaded anything yet, but obviously I'm going to have to start. Yeah. Uh, it's really helping motivate me to really do it because it's something that I've had a thought of doing for a long time. And I've even tried to set up my space so that I would have easy access to all my oh, materials yeah. um, in my living room. But that didn't make it happen either because I thought when I'm sitting there watching TV, you know, then I'll then I'll do it. But no, it's actually really taking your beating circle that has yeah. given me the motivation to. Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, I'm glad that we had it then because that's awesome. 
it, I mean, I think like right now it's just like a poor time, right? Because it's like people are finishing up their schoolwork, which we didn't yeah. foresee happening. I think we were trying to be responsive to like community need by offering um, lots. Um, but then the school system, you know, offer, is also offering them lots and maybe not what they want to be doing. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> it's it's uh, hopefully we can we can um, do it again, do another round, and really get that use use involvement. That we yeah, that'd be, that'd be nice. Yeah, but I'm definitely benefiting. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's good though. I'm glad. And, and since I brought up Adora's Beating Circle too, like you're welcome to join that one too. There's a lot of um, okay. like uh, Shannon Gustafson was on there. There's a lot of like really seasoned beaters. Um, just and all it is, it's exactly like the way you're doing it. Like you're just beating and like showing um, different techniques and then just kind of sharing different tips, you know, like it's more like a, yeah, a show and share. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to join in. You'll have to set me up with the information so I can join. Yeah, it's going to be Saturdays, I think at seven. Yeah, Saturdays okay. at seven. Perfect timing too, because then I could put the younger one to bed. She's, she's a mom too, so she's like, um, really thinking of that and there's one lady uh, I don't know if you know Amanda Sakalineb or I don't think I'm saying her name right but she does amazing beadwork and um, but she doesn't put her kids to bed till nine so she can't join <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah well my younger my older one likes it like it's because there's no school I let him stay up and I let him do things, watch videos, play games or whatever. But my younger one, because of the autism, and he just goes all day. I'm tired by that time. And I'm like, okay, hey, you need to sleep. And he doesn't even sleep all night either. It's like he just, like, if somebody makes a noise, he'll wake up and think he can stay up because he's up now. And I'm like, no, you only slept for, like, three hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so true. They seem to have like a lot of energy. I have like a few friends with um, kids that are autistic and I um, have babysat for them and stuff. So I have a, have gotten a little, little tiny taste of what that's like. What you yeah. Do. Yeah. And I'm just like so tired. So like sometimes too, like for me, like once I'm done dealing with him all day, sometimes I'm, my eyes are sore and tired that I can't even bead. Like, I'm like, those beads are so little right now. I'm so tired that I can't look at those for so long. So that's what sometimes I have, like, a problem, too, with, like, so I won't bead for a little bit. Did you ever end up getting, um, like, supplies from that lady? From no, Canada? but she was messaging me. Okay. She didn't, she didn't bring me anything, I don't, unless I wasn't home, but... No, I was just curious. Okay. Maybe they're like thinking of something. It's it's like a unique thing, right? Yeah, so she was like asking me questions and stuff like that. So how many beads at a time are you doing this time? Like four? You said that I'm, at your beginning? I'm doing eight only because I'm trying to get a little bit done so that I could show you guys. But mm -hmm. to start off, like when you first start off, you can start off with eight if you if you feel like it, but um, I started off at four just to get used of being having a straight line. Mm -hmm. And then I just started, and then I did six, and then I and then I did eight, and so like technically you can put as many beads as you want. I beat down every second bead so that's nice and tight. I'm just trying to go like a little bit quicker so that I could have at least one piece done that I could show you guys. I'm just going to pull apart and then I'll start doing the inside right here. Wow. Sorry, don't mind the dog in the back. Oh, that's <laughs> Wow, don't mind the dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's starting to look really awesome. I am doing awesome bubble letters over here. While chatting with you. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. 
What are you mm. making with those bubble letters? I see. Oh, my nephew's name. Okay. Yeah, just I'm at work or whatever, and he's oh. here, so I'll just give it to him before I go. Like, hey, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just trying to get this one part done so that I can show you guys. Yeah, I'm just hold on one second, guys. Ian, do you need help, baby? So, um, what are you working on, Cece? Oh, bubble letters. Oh, cool. I'm just, I'm going to give it to my nephew after. Oh, that's nice. Those are really yeah, perfect just like you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I was supposed to, for the 100 time, pick up beads at Brittany's, but... I've been practicing social distancing and we, I keep forgetting to go to her house and like no contact to come out. I know and it's hard when you do come over and you can't come in. Yeah like when I freaking brought you those supplies there and we're just standing there and I'm just talking to you in your driveway all far away like okay this feels weird because I can't hug you okay bye and just walk away like it's so weird. Yeah I'm like Craig I just wanted to come inside and hang out. Yeah it's such a transition eh? Yeah. yeah, it's really different, it really weird. I know every time I've had, I've ran into someone recently oh, on Saturday when I was at Shoppers picking up like eggs and milk and this lady that I knew, she was pretty much like a mentor to me um, early in my career. And it was just like, we just had to, you know, we had our masks on and we had to be fast. So we couldn't stop and chat and that we, she messaged me after and said that was so weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and like now when I see my friends and they leave, I actually we we kind of have this habit now of just like hugging ourselves and being like, oh, we'll pretend in our minds we'll hug each other <laughs> or something. I'm that's not okay. even beating. <laughs> that's okay. Hi, Sarah. Sorry, I was like commuting home and then I got home, so I was like. Oh my god! Again, but now I'm home. You're still, are you still? You're still going into work, eh? Yeah, yeah. I just finished the bottom piece to my paw. Now I'm nice. just gonna Ooh, nice. Now I'm just gonna start Boy. filling it in. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think I think Ben is Ben is doing okay. Like they got the confirmation that they did get the YOF grant um, as an organization, so they're actually in the stage of planning their workshops right now. And I said, I'm sure like we could uh, help share some of what we're learning from this program. Wait, share who? Oh, Ben Murray is a, is a young person that lives here that has a um, a nonprofit organization called the uh, the Earthling Collective. Wait, that sounds like one of the facilitators. Yes, the one that's going on Friday. Yes. Very cool. <laughs> so there's a good news story. His work will continue and grow and evolve. And he's just setting, I, I actually joined a meeting with him and his staff now, I guess. Like they were volunteering their time before. Um, so like it's, it's very cool, very exciting stuff. And actually mm -hmm. they're going to they're gonna want to get connected to artists. So yeah, so like I think we can we can um, work together to uh, keep things moving. <laughs> yeah. And fun fact is he has a song with Snoop Dogg. I know, cool. isn't that amazing? It blows my mind. That's cool. What song? Um, it's a brand new one. <laughs> walk the walk. It's called. Mm, we'll, we'll have to check it. it. Oh, we'll have to send it in the group chat. Yeah. yeah. I Good love beating it. song. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany loves hip hop, so that's how we yeah. got it. So.
Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you guys have some really cool cats in Sault Ste. Marie. I really enjoyed the the show that Jermaine like kind of headlined and had some folks from here and folks from the Sioux. It was really cool. Yes. Yeah, there's this like picture of me and Brittany and then just like this big circle of rappers and then, then I uh, put the caption as me and Brittany in our natural habitat. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're just always at all the hip hop shows. Hey, yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. That's so deadly. Yeah, mm -hmm. I really love hip hop too. It's definitely like my preferred genre, I guess. Like it's yeah. hard because I like all kinds of music, but me too, me too. But fave. yeah, kind of go to music. <laughs> I feel like I have to be in the mood for other genres, but I'm like always in the mood for hip hop and R and B. Me too. Never, and nobody ever like is like, oh, let Britney play music because she's always playing hip hop. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really into J. Cole lately, so it's kind of neat how, like, um, Jermaine's workshop has been, like, all about that J. Cole song, about dreaming. <laughs> oh, nice. So, Britt. Yes? Bruce, this one, did you count, you, you know how the other ones, you, like, drew the beads out so you kind of counted them? Do you mm -hmm. have to count them, or is that just, like, it makes it easier for beginners? Um... I don't count, like right now I'm not counting because I'm only making one, but if you're making a pair of earrings, I count because you want the other one to look the exact same right. as the first okay. one. I have my colors picked out. I can show, show me what, the colors. Yeah, show me what you're doing. Okay, so this, this is the pattern. I think maybe I, I, cause I started working on this with your last oh yeah one. yeah and then i trace this oh, cool. i think they look alike enough they're going to be hair ties yeah they're tulips my oh yeah i showed it to my friend who's like a really good bead worker and she said to just like add a little line here because i hadn't i had i hadn't disconnected that you know like because this will be the green part okay be, yeah and this will be pink um i don't and i don't know maybe the white on the inside because like these are the colors that I have. I don't know if you can see. Okay. But yeah, thinking of like green for the stem and the leaf. Yeah. And then like this pink color for the. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Yeah, um, it's, it's like sparkling. It looks actually so cool on the camera. Yeah, and it'll be nice um, in the sun. Yeah, we whenever we sun. can get out in the sun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it gives you all this time to beat it, though. I know, mm -hmm. right? That's the yeah. way to look at it. Stuff I've been putting off forever. But I'll find that song. I'll find that song from Ben and like post it in the chat. Okay. And um, yeah, I'll send you guys a picture of my regalia too, because like that's what it's going with. Okay. Ah. But start off with cutting out your cutting one out at a time. Just start off with one and then oh. sew it down, like how I did right here. I just sewed it down, like one right here, one right here, one down here, and one down here. And then I just, I just started beating over my drawing. And nice. then, I yeah, love it. yeah, and to just start, um, I, if I was doing it, I'd start with the, the flower piece because it's bigger, and I start with the bigger piece. Yeah. No, that's a good um, tip. That's a really good tip. Yeah. <laughs> And then even like after when you're done, you can like put bling on the outside too, make it even more sparkly like this one. Like, like, like you see how I have that on the outside and then the beads in the middle. It's coming off right here. I got to sew it back down. They look, those beads look like identical to these beads almost. Maybe they are, but yeah, um, if they look, they look nice in the... Hold on, hold on. Sparkly That's ones are always nice and uh. I didn't want here. That's why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was wondering if I should use this color or this lighter green color. I don't know if you can really see the difference. But... Um. Yeah, the one in the container is dark, eh? Yeah, I think this one, eh? Yeah, it, it all depends too how you want it. 
like I said, like sometimes it looks like it's gonna look funny, but you have to finish it. Don't don't stop because it's not it's not gonna look like that when it's done. It's gonna be so pretty. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna duck a little bit early and just uh, hang out with my buddy here, but I okay. will talk to you guys soon. For Bye. sure. Bye. Enjoy. Bye. Have a good day. Have a good day. But yeah, um, I'd start by cutting it out and start doing it like if you don't want to do it during the day I know it's like nice and stuff start at nighttime it's actually really gray in Thunder Bay <laughs> oh, is it? 